gentlemen, we're standing here under the chuppah. The chuppah is the symbol of the house you're going to set up together. It's also symbolic of Mount Sinai, a lot of the customs at a chuppah recall the commitment between God and the Jewish people. And like the home of our ancestor, Avraham, it's open on all sides, a sign of hospitality. Leah is now going to walk around Mark seven times. You know the story of the falling of the walls of Jericho. Any, ba- any boundaries between you, any walls of separation between you is now brought down. And also to symbolize the, world, the, the uh, home you're about to set up, the new creation. The seven rep corresponds to those seven days of creation. It says the Zohar, the fact that one tried, the fact that one put in effort, we call the person a rofe, a healer, because one is rewarded for the effort they put in. Mark and Leah, Gifford, Pamela, Marilyn, and at occasions like this, we remember those who have gone before. I never met your father. I think he passed away just before we moved to Ilford. But his spirit was so much alive in the shtibol, the Ohel Yaakov, named after him. And I heard stories of meetings in the Federation head office where he'd get up and say, it's going to be done, I'll make sure it happens. And we had a shul and a koilo and an effect on a community for many, many years. And there's no doubt that Melvin's and the Shoma is here joining us at this simcha, as well as the grandparents and the great-grandparents that have gone before. 
You couldn't have picked a better day to get married. <laughs> Yesterday, we learned about the original couple, Adam and Chava, and very soon we'll make a bracha where we compare you to those Reim Ahuvim, those beloved friends. They knew they had the right partner. There was no choice. So too you must know, you have the right partner in life. You have to be sure of that. That was yesterday. But next week, Parshas Noyach, the Parsha we're in now, is also very special. Not just because it's my son's mitzvah. <laughs> How was Noyach saved? So, according to the Medrash, the land of Israel wasn't flooded. And he could have been put there, could have been protected in some other way. But that's not what Hashem did. Hashem told him, spend 120 years building an ark. Then, get some of every animal that exists into the ark. And for an entire year, Noach, his wife, his three sons and three daughters-in-law were in this ark. What were they doing? What did they do for a year? <coughs> Ever wondered? What went on in the ark? Eliezer, the servant of Avram, had this question. And he met Shem, one of the sons of Noah, and asked him, what was life like in the ark? And Shem said it was, it was unbearable. All those animals, they all ate different things at different times. On one occasion, our father was a little bit late feeding the lion and it lashed out at him. Into two in the Torah. Ach es noach. There was a little bit of noach missing at the end. At the end of that, Hashem said, the verse says, erikim es noach. That Hashem remembered noach. So what? God was busy doing something else and he thought, goodness, noach, I've left him there. What does it mean, vayizkoi? And our sages tell us the word vayizkoi, he remembered, means he remembered his actions. What actions? The actions of spending a year caring and giving. They'd just come from a world that it was corrupt. They stole. They were involved in all sorts of uh, corrupt ways of life. Hashem had to wipe out the world and start again. When you start something new, there's training that's needed. Nayach's training was to spend a year doing just effort, <coughs> just kindness, looking after and caring for others. Your training so far has been the wonderful upbringing of your parents, by, by your parents. But you're about to build your own world. That's a world that you should build on chesed, showing care and concern for each other and for those around you. And on behalf of everybody, we wish you mazel tov. You should, be built, you should build a bias nem, the Yisrael, a home where you try your best at everything, where you give and are faithful to the lines and the roots that you come from. Muzzle. Okay. <coughs> Please stand. <coughs> the witnesses to the wedding are myself and Rabbi Brandman. We'll start with Birchus Erusin Betrothal. Before we do that, can just make sure somebody has the ring here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Answer on me as the prophets. Boruchato aboino, Eloheinu melecho ilom, Boire peri hagofen. Boruchato aboino, Eloheinu melecho ilom. Asher kiddushonu b'mitzvah yisov, v'tzivonu al ho'aro yois, v'yosalonu eso aruso yis, v'hitilonu es hanusu yis lonu, al yidei chupo v'kiddushin. Boruch ato avoinoi, mekadesh amo yisroheil, al yidei chupo v'kiddushin. Amen.